Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, thanks to the team over at Hasbro and Lego, we're going to be taking an early look at the Lego set 10302 Transformers Optimus Prime. Now this set has a worldwide release date of June 1st and consists of approximately 1,508 pieces. Now when it was announced that Lego were finally going to be acquiring the license for Transformers, I know it made myself and many of you super excited to see as to what they would come up with. In the past, we had seen Hasbro attempt something very similar that in the form of Transformers Creo. However, to be honest, they weren't enjoyable sets. In order to kind of transform the character from either robot to truck mode, you had to completely disassemble each mode to get to it. Whereas here, with this official Lego Optimus Prime, it actually transforms without any disassembling required, which in my opinion is mind blowing. Now we'll start off firstly by taking a look at Prime in his truck mode, as well as discussing the accessories. So first up, we get this really nice plaque, which has an image there of the Lego Optimus Prime, Function, Commander, and Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. And we also get some really nice stats here of Prime, and he does actually rank pretty highly. We also do get here the Energon Axe, and I think this has turned out really nicely, comprised of quite a few fair components, but definitely matches his appearance from the animation. You can see some nice transparent orange bricks here just to make it look as if though it's got Energon flowing through it and probably one of the best accessories that he comes with would have to be the iconic Ion Blaster. Now to actually build each individual component including Prime himself it's really enjoyable but I've got to be honest and say that the Ion Blaster in particular probably took me the most by surprise. The intricacy as well as the engineering is pretty mind-blowing and I think the overall design just looks fantastic. This is easily recognizable as being Optimus's signature weapon. You can see the detail is really nice especially where this center section is concerned and I just think from a design perspective they literally got it bang on. We also do get here an Energon Cube which is exactly what it would say on the tin, basically just a few purple bricks but this too does look pretty decent and matches his appearance from the 80s series. And then something which I really, really like the look of would be Sideswipe's jetpack. I wasn't too sure they were going to include it here with this release, but when we actually get it attached onto robot mode, it looks fantastic. And I'm a huge fan of them using some of these smoothed out panels just to create for a slightly more realistic and sleek design. You can even see here at the top, we've got some really nice details as well as the thrusters here at the base, which are fully articulated on some ball joints. So accessory wise, he comes with pretty much everything I would want from the iconic G1 Optimus Prime design. Now, as we take a look here at Prime in truck mode, this in itself looks fantastic. It is undeniably supposed to be Prime from that original 80s series. The flat nose cab looks awesome. Now the attention to detail, as well as just the design in general is so nicely done. As we bring this in here for a closer look, you can see we've got some nice details here for the grill, as well as for this bumper section. We've got some headlights, some of these indicator lights here at the base, those massive truck windows, and I really like the fact how they've tried to replicate that almost silver stripe that goes through the front as well as the side section of Prime's cab. And you can see we've got some floodlights there at the top, the smokestacks here, which look awesome. It's so cool to see them utilize the Lego components in order to create certain aspects of Prime's design. I think that the pieces they have used are spot on and really do help to create a very accurate look. You can see we've got the Autobot insignias here on the sides, which actually become the shoulders in robot mode. As we take a look at the wheels, you can see all of the caps have been detailed very nicely. We've got some wicked metallic silver there for the gas cans and for a figure of which can actually transform and that is Lego. This has got to be one of the cleanest truck beds that I personally have seen for a very long time. And when we actually compress the feet and collapse them for transformation, these red sections are revealed, which kind of look like tail lights, which once again, I thought was a really nice touch. Now, something that I personally was worried about would be kind of the structural integrity of this in truck form and kind of in robot mode considering this does transform I was worried that it's going to be a floppy mess but no for the most part this is actually pretty tactile and actually holds together really really nicely which is awesome the wheels are completely rubberized so Prime can easily glide along the ground and just to give you a quick look here from the back perspective, once again, he cleans up impeccably well. Now, as far as weapon storage is concerned, we can take the Ion Blaster and just collapse the handle down. And essentially, this does just rest in the truck bed, just like so. 
and looks pretty seamless whilst doing it. Now, in terms of transformation, it's actually relatively straightforward, and if anything, results in a truck and robot mode which rivals that of the original G1 Soy, which I personally thought was really awesome, considering that once again, this is Lego. Now, there are some swap out pieces here for truck mode. You'll want to utilize this panel, which has this gray detailing, whereas for robot mode, you'll want to switch it out here with this yellow detailing. So I guess in a sense, there's kind of parts forming required, but at the end of the day, it's a Lego piece. So it's always going to have pieces that can pop off and detach, etc. So transformation wise, you are going to want to take this piece here and just fold this section forwards. We can then remove this section and replace it here with this alternate robot mode piece. We're then going to want to flip out Prime's hands and just fold out the fingers. We can then take these side flaps, hinge them to the sides and then just hinge the elbows out and bring the shoulders in. Now, something which I thought was a super nice touch is that the shoulders actually lock into place. Buried deep within there are kind of two stud ports that these sections will peg into. So they will actually lock into place, just securing them here for bot mode. So just snap them in there. What we can then proceed to do is flip our attention here to the back, just fold up the toes, take these gas cans, and rotate those downwards. You'll then want to stand Optimus up and then bend here at where the hips are so that we can bring this entire section all the way up and then rotate here at the torso, flip the head up and rotate that so that the front is now facing forwards. Drop these arms down as we just spin our attention here to the front. You'll then want to split the legs, just swivel those out to the sides and then as far as this section is concerned, you'll want to take these pieces, push them inwards, and they will actually situate in a slot which is buried inside the torso to create a really nice design. So I'll just showcase that. So just hinge that in, and you can see that it does give a slight angle to Prime's chest design. Once again, to better match the animation model, which I thought was a really nice touch. We can then take these sections here, just fold them into the sides. You'll then want to rotate the fists around, flip forwards the thumbs, and collapse these sections in. And with all that being said, here we have the Lego Optimus Prime fully transformed up into his really cool looking robot mode. And if I haven't mentioned already, I really do think this piece here is amazing. The fact that we have a truck and robot mode, which is so accurate to that classic iconic 80s G1 Prime design, but yet still has the capability of transforming pretty simplistically. I really do think it's just hats off to the Lego team. I do think they've done an amazing job here, especially for their first ever Transformers item. And I can hope that come this time next year we can maybe see the likes of Bumblebee and hopefully one day even a version of Megatron. Now as we actually take a look here at the robot mode of course this is my favorite out of the two and I really do think that this looks stunning. The fact that this is created out of Lego I think they've absolutely knocked the design out of the park. Now as we bring him in here for a closer look you can see we've got that classic Optimus Prime head sculpt design fully recreated here out of Lego and as I mentioned when we took a look at him in truck mode it's quite remarkable how all all of these Lego components come together to form such iconic looking pieces such as this head. So we've got the antennas here on the side, we've got that iconic mouthpiece with the eyes as well as this crest section which are already pre-installed fresh out of the packaging so you don't have to sticker them on yourselves. They are already applied which I think is great especially considering that they are some of the more prominent decals that you'll see in this mode but just such a fantastic head sculpt. You can see kind of this circular section that we've got around the side of the head here for the chest unit. I think the proportions also are very nicely done considering he transforms. No area looks super unnatural. I think comes together really, really well. And something of which that I may have failed to mention in the truck mode is that we actually do get the matrix of leadership, which is embedded within that matrix chamber. It is fully removable, quite a simplistic looking piece, but still very effective. And we've got a nice orange gem. Maybe it would have been nice had it been blue, but it does just hold in there. And we can open and close the chest like this as we take a look at the shoulders i think these two have turned out really well done and the same can also be said here for the forearms you can see we've got some of that classic g1 detailing such as the yellow arrows and even the fingers and thumbs too look so nicely done i did actually have a piece missing for this hand so it is supposed to look like this once fully assembled with this section kind of jutting out 
a little more, but that looks so nicely done in regards to the design. Now, as we come here to the chest, considering this transforms, there are some components of which aren't dead on accurate to the show, but considering it's Lego, in a sense, you could literally customize this guy to look exactly how you want. So if you don't like the wheels here on the hips, you can simply just pop them off, remove them, and then when you transform them in truck mode, just pop them on. And the same can also be said here for this plate. You can also detach it, it's held on via some clips. As we spin our attention here to the back of Prime, he actually cleans up really nicely. Now, granted, without the jetpack applied, I personally do think he looks a little too slender and slightly too skinny for my liking, but I'll be sure to touch base with that later on in the video. You can see here for the back of the legs, they've turned out really sleek looking in regards to design. And as I mentioned, when we took a look at the jetpack, I love how they've used some of these smoother panels just to create for that much more of an accurate look. Overall, looking fantastic. Now, as we come back around here to the front, these thigh stickers, you will actually have to apply yourself. I think the decals on those look really, really nicely done. And you can see here kind of for the midsection of the shin, these silver vents just look so reflective and awesome. And it's so well done. You won't actually appreciate how much has gone into this until you assemble it yourself. But we've got the gas cans here on the side and that foot design also looking really, really impressive. Now, articulation wise, for the most part, he's really well done. There is one area of which I personally think Lego could have done a bit of a better job, but I'll mention that in just a second. You can see as far as the head is concerned, it is on a ball joint, so we do get a full range. He can look up, down to a fantastic degree, as well as, of course, rotate here left to right. The shoulders are on almost indented ratchet joints, so not only can hold their weight impeccably well, but can rotate the 4360 out to the sides. Due to transformation, we kind of get a butterfly joint although as mentioned previously they are designed to tab in here for bot form we do get a swivel just above the elbow as well as an indented ratchet joint which can bend roughly to 90 and here for the hand it can rotate the full 360 the thumb can stick up and the fingers can open and close you could in theory utilize that almost waist joint that we'll use for transformation although you will have to mistransform this entire front grill piece which personally i wouldn't recommend doing now here for the hips these can kick roughly to 90 which is fantastic they can kick back to that far before you begin to start bumping into some of the butt kibble they can also kick out to the sides. Rotation here, where I presume the knee is supposed to be. Now, sadly, this guy does not have any knee joints. And when it was rumored that he was basically gonna be fixed at this point, I wasn't that bothered, but actually getting him in hand and considering just how articulated the upper torso is, I'm almost certain Lego could have done something very similar to what we're seeing here with the shoulders and the elbows in actually giving us a reinforced joint that would have allowed us to at least bend this to 90. Lego have created much bigger and much more ambitious sets than this Optimus. So I'm almost certain there was a way around that so definitely not glad to see that there is no form of bend here where the knee is concerned but setting that off to the side here for the foot this can also rock side to side and due to transformation we also do get toe tilt so overall minus the qualm that i have with the knees i think this guy is really poseable and for lego it definitely took me by surprise upon assembling him now getting back to some of the accessories as far as installation here of the iron blaster is concerned you are just going to want to open up the hand just like so and you'll notice that we've got two studs here on the forearm that will basically just peg into the underside here of the blaster so just snap that there into place wrap those fingers around and there we have prime wielding what is undeniably one of his most iconic accessories which i think he just looks so awesome whilst doing so and as I mentioned previously i really do think the proportions as well as the scale of this is pretty on point with what we saw in the animation now we also do get here the energon axe this can be installed into either of the hands it really doesn't matter which one you wish to go with i personally am going to choose to peg it onto this one just so we can have kind of the axe and the blaster at the same time so you are going to want to slide off the hand and then take this peg, rotate that there all the way to the back. And inside you'll notice that we've got this kind of cross cut out that this massive section here will peg in. So I'm pretty certain there's more technical terms for some of these Lego components, but that's not sadly my area of expertise. So just peg on the Energon Axe and there we've got Prime utilizing that once again, looking really awesome whilst doing so. And then as far as the jetpack is concerned, as we just flip our attention here to the back, you'll notice how we've got these two sections here and here that will essentially be clipped on via these two pieces here. Now, I really think the design of this is excellent. So you will just want to align this up appropriately. So this section here for the back will shoot into this hollow cavity. And then we can just snap that in there really securely. 
And there we've got Sideswipe's jetpack fully installed onto Prime. And at least in my opinion, that really does help to kind of complete the back section of Optimus. In the show, he did kind of have this midsection. And then when the jetpack was installed, it was these pieces here on the side. So at least in my opinion, this does just complete his look and will no doubt be how I personally will be displaying Optimus when on the shelf. Now, as far as scale is concerned, I've decided to bring out what is undeniably one of the best G1 inspired Optimus Primes released by Hasbro in recent years, that being the Earthrise slash Netflix leader class and you can see that he's a pretty big boy this Lego Optimus definitely towers over our leader slash Voyager Optimus Prime and is more along the lines of what I would say what the old commander class slash almost ultimate class would be from some of those Transformers movies so if you've got the likes of the Battle Ops Bumblebee or even the ultimate Optimus Prime from a head-to-head -head perspective I really do think this Lego Optimus would match them and I do believe he's even a little bigger than that of the commander class Jetfire. Now taking a look at reverse transformation from robot back into truck mode like previously is actually relatively straightforward so to begin with you're going to want to take these side panels and just hinge these here out to the sides we'll then want to bend in to 90 here at the elbows rotate the fists like this and just flip forwards the fingers and take the thumbs and just hinge them there out to the sides we'll then want to bring this front grille piece forwards flip out the headlights and of course you'll want to detach this section and replace it we have the decal of which is specifically designed here for the truck mode. You'll want to rotate the head so that the front is now facing the back. Lift this panel up and then rotate prime so that once again, this back section is now facing towards you. Now, as we come here to the lower legs of Optimus, you'll want to clip these sections in upon themselves. And the gas cans for robot mode are like this for truck mode. You will just want to hinge them upwards so that we're left with something along the lines of this and then you'll want to bend here at the hips just like this take optimus's head and just swivel that section around we can then hinge the shoulders in and then at the same time i would recommend just hinging here at the elbow so that you're creating something which looks along the lines of this of course flip to this side and rinse and repeat so just bring that shoulder back and then at the same time bring that forearm around with it we can then take the feet just fold these down to reveal the tail lights which once again is just such an amazing attention to detail we can then take these pieces flip those down and then as far as the hands are concerned they will basically just fold away into these cavities and the same will can be said here for this side and you'll notice that we've got two studs here that will basically peg into some slots on the underside. So just align that up appropriately, snap that there into place. And there we have the Lego Transformers Optimus Prime fully transformed back into his truck mode. And so some final thoughts for this Lego Transformers transforming Optimus Prime. I think this is a fantastic set. Lego have done an amazing job in capturing Prime's original G1 appearance in both the robot and truck mode, yet at the same time fully engineering in a transformation which is fun, simplistic and incredibly effective. Literally both truck and robot mode for a Lego set go uncompromised. I really do think both modes look awesome, even being a rival for some of the official G1 Optimus Prime toys that were produced by Hasbro. I think the other as far as the robot mode is concerned is pretty decent especially where the upper torso is concerned he has all of the joints that personally I would want from an Optimus Prime I really do think however they definitely could have engineered those knees differently this is Lego they've created some of the biggest sets that you could possibly imagine and the fact they couldn't have found a way to have given this Optimus Prime a 90 degree bend at the knee I'm definitely not buying it I really do think there was a way to have fixed that issue and that is definitely something I hope we can see in future Lego sets if they ever do decide to do the likes of say Megatron I think accessory wise he comes with everything and more that I would want from a classic version of Optimus Prime the Ion Blaster looks awesome the Energon Axe looks wicked that Sideswipe Jetpack is just insane and the Energon Cube which for me is a more throwaway accessory still doesn't look too bad at all as far as the actual stability and integrity of the robot and truck is concerned I think it holds up impeccably well especially for Lego you still have to factor in mind that there are a lot of pieces over 1500 pieces that 
that have actually been packed into this. So there are always going to be components which pop off if you do apply too much pressure. But as you guys saw from the transformation, going from truck to robot and vice versa, I didn't have barely any components pop off at all. So in all, if you're a fan of Lego and better still a fan of Transformers, then I really do think this is a must have item and really is historic in regards to Transformers product. This is our first official Lego Transformer and I really do hope to see them take this further in the future. Bumblebee and Megatron and even a Soundwave are characters of which I personally would love to see them attempt. As mentioned before, I've got to give a massive thank you to Hasbro and Lego for sending this free product sample over to the channel for me to give you guys a review. And for those of you looking to add this to the collection, it is released worldwide come June 1st, 2022. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below on both this set as well as the review. Is this a product that you guys plan on adding to the collection? And as always, I thank you all so much for watching. Until my next video, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.